Hey, Super Brave friends. I'm Joe Kurlowski, the Super Brave teacher, and it's time to make some noise. Like I said, I'm the Super Brave teacher, and what do I do? I am a sparker of bravery. Yep, I'm a bravery sparker. Maybe I should put that on a little, little business card. I'm a sparker of bravery. And what does that even mean? It means that every day, I am 100% me. Every day, I decide to show up whether that's on this YouTube channel, promoting visibility and voice for all LGBTQ plus teachers and students, whether that's me teaching my amazing, super brave 23 kindergarten teachers at my Spanish immersion school, or whether that's just walking down the street and being an awesome guy and doing the best I can every day, promoting, 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 nothing more than full radical acceptance of all so thank you for watching this video. It means very much to this guy. So friends, it's time to talk about making some noise. I'm a third born. I did not grow up making a lot of noise. In fact, I grew up a lot trying to be silent and not make noise, not ruffle feathers or any analogy you want to give it. You know, third borns have the beauty that I'm, I'm sure I had a lot more freedom than my other two older brothers. My oldest brother did a great job of just like doing things very well, very right, very responsibly. My second brother followed suit too, did a lot of the same things that my older brother did, kind of did some things on his own path too, but kind of stood the way. And I, I would say that I also did things similar to my oldest brother, similar to my second brother, but I probably had more freedom in that. I traveled more, I got to do more things, not necessarily because I was the third born, but because something innate in me was like, huh, I gotta explore these things, I gotta question these things, I gotta challenge these things just a little bit more. And I grew up in a culture around me, a very strict religious culture that said, you know, the nail that sticks out gets hammered down, don't make too many waves, don't, don't do anything that draws attention to you more than it draws attention to God. And it's one of those things that I still very much believe and I still very much understand why someone would say that or believe that. And it's also one of those things where, you know, I grew up Lutheran, so think about it. Like, who was one of the biggest noisemakers of his time? Martin Luther. So it's just one of those things that was always, like, something that I think that the, the Lutheran system I grew up in doesn't do so well is always holding both and saying that, you know, we can do this, and we can do this, and it doesn't really negate the other. And my, I talk about that a lot on this channel, just the, the reality of dualism, that I can be happy and sad at the same time, I can do all these things, I can carry two things at once, you know, I can be a Christian and I can also be a gay man, I can hold both those things. And I think that um, we need, I need, talking about myself, need to be more courageous in making some noise. Not just in like making noise within my micro space of a super brave classroom with my students or making noise within my super brave home with my husband, but also making noise when I see injustices and standing up for that and just making noise in life. You know, I remember teaching in Chicago and um, one of our principals said, you know, Make sure to stay in your lane. Stay in your lane, stay in your lane. And it was almost like a theme of that year. It was like, oh, make sure you stay in your lane or you stay in your lane. And I know the mentality behind it. It was kind of like, you know what? There's no point in gossiping. There's no point in trying to figure everyone else's life out. Figure your own life out. There's plenty to figure out. And something I'm learning is that sometimes I need to move in multiple lanes and I need to make some noise. And I need to say, hey, can we try this? Hey, I've been thinking about doing this. Hey, maybe we could revamp summer school and do a little bit more of this. Hey, wouldn't it be cool if the kindergarten team embraced this a little bit more? Hey, wouldn't it be cool if, you know, you know, you know, you know what I'm talking about. And to not only do that, but notice how it feels inside. Notice how people respond. Notice how maybe people don't respond but to keep checking in with myself and say, how was it making noise today? How did that feel? What did that sound like? What did that look like? And to keep coming back at it and saying, wait, that was okay. You know, I, I went out of my lane just a little bit and it was okay and people actually really liked that. 
And you know what? I made some noise over here and that's fine. You know, I've been listening to a lot of podcasts. I listen to a lot of podcasts and they always say, all these innovators say is like, have the privilege, have the, the beauty of like being fired from a job. And I'm like, be fired from a job. I would never, never be fired from a job, but maybe I just might. I'm not going to principal. If you're watching this video, my awesome principal, I'm not gonna intentionally be fired, but I am gonna make sure that I'm taking risks. Like I, I teach our students all the time, take risks. And I'm gonna make sure that I'm gonna continue to make noise, especially if it's fighting for visibility and voice for LGBTQ plus teachers and students. And if it's fighting for any underdog, whatever that means. So it's time to make some noise. Are you ready to make some noise? What are you making noise about? I wanna hear about it. Leave a comment below. <sighs> whether you're a third born, whether you're a first born, whatever, I just wanna give you permission to make noise. It is okay. It is okay. You are enough just for being who you are. And Joel, keep making noise. You are enough just being who you are. Bye friends.